So, I have five minutes to give you a review of the Avengers, which I don't think is possible, but I will try and it will most likely go over time. Uh, what is there to say about the Avengers? If you don't know what it is, you've been living under a rock, or you just don't have uh, access to media of any kind. Um, the Avengers is a long time coming, since 2008 when Iron Man came out and has been alluded to in the after clip scenes from Marvel films. Uh, the long coming superhero movie, to end all superhero movies basically. Um, it was written by geek god cult leader Joss Whedon, um, who most people should know if you don't go Google him and watch his shows. They're mostly all on instant Netflix. Go watch them. And go see Cabin in the Woods while it's still in. Uh, shameless plug for that man, but that movie's brilliant. Um, the Avengers is basically one of the greatest movies of this year, and one of the best superhero movies ever made. It puts together Iron Man, the Hulk, Thor, Captain America, Black Widow, Hawkeye, um, puts them all together in the same scene, same action sequences, and they have to deal with each other. This movie is fantastic. I'm sorry this review is late. I've seen it twice since it came out. I was going to do it over the weekend with a friend who is way more into it than I am, but she backed out because it would be a 20 minute review. Or longer, probably longer. So, I'm gonna do this in five minutes and it's gonna be really crappy. No spoilers are, in, are going to happen, at least I hope not. Probably not. I, don't, I think I can shy away from those. Um, basically, yeah. It's a group of broken superheroes all put together, and they form a fantastic team, as it turns out. Um, there's really not much to say without spoiling things. I mean, they have their issues. They all don't really get along. Um, their main villain is Loki from Thor. He finds an alien race and allies with them, and he's going to take over Earth. Basically, he's still bitter. Um, that's their main villain, and that's about as much plot as I'm going to give you, because go watch the goddamn movie. If you haven't seen it already, I mean, 207 million. I'm assuming most of the world saw it last weekend. So if you haven't seen it yet, I don't know what your problem is. Either you don't have time, or you just don't care, which is very sad. Um... Uh, this movie's fantastic. I've said that 20,000 times, and it's only been two and a half minutes. Um, the cast is brilliant, and they play off each other very well. Joss Whedon's script and his dialogue is astounding. This is a two and a half hour movie. It doesn't feel like it. Also, it's two and a half hours. It's two hours of action sequence, half an hour of Joss Whedon dialogue. I don't know what's better in a movie, but, uh... This pretty much pulls off near perfection. Um, Mark Ruffalo steps in to play the Hulk, the third actor in the many years the Hulk movies have been out, which have been horrible, and that he does so good in this movie that I don't understand why they just didn't... I don't know. Uh, I had issues with Scarlett Johansson as Black Eye, just, or Hawk. <laughs> Black Widow. I had issues with her for a little bit, and then I saw this movie, and I was like, I'm totally okay with this. Um, you need your own movie now. Um, Iron Man was cocky and brilliant and charming as ever. Um, Chris Evans was wonderful as Captain America. Chris Hemsworth was phenomenal as Thor. And um, Mark Ruffalo was amazing as Hulk. Also, Samuel L. Jackson, I love the fact that he can never escape... <sighs> He can never escape Pulp Fiction, and I love that. I love when they make him say things, because he said, has a couple lines in here that cracked me up, because I was expecting him to start swearing up a storm, and I really wish he'd had. Um, what else is there to say? It's a damn brilliant movie. This is a review that is pointless, because pretty much everybody has told you it's really good, and you should go see it. I'm just gonna, you know, jump on the back of that crowd and go see it. Do it. <laughs> now, I think you should. Um, one last thought is that Colby Smulders would make a pretty damn good Wonder Woman. We need that movie next. That's all I'm gonna say to DC and Paramount and whatever. So, The Avengers, 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10. If you hadn't guessed from this review already, it's a rambling, incohesive mess, but that's how The Avengers makes your brain. So... Definitely go check it out, and uh, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe if you would like to, 
And uh, go see the goddamn Avengers, because it's pretty fucking amazing. But I'm going to end this now, so...